So this is uh, going to be the first um, introduction to the creative writing course. Basically, in creative writing, what we do is we write things. Big shocker, right? Um, but so I want to go over the syllabus with you briefly, and then I want to introduce you to the website that we're going to be building and operating throughout the course of the year. Okay, so the syllabus, you can find it under the syllabus folder. Everything for the first nine weeks is going to be in this folder. The very first thing that you should do when you come into class is open up your bell ringer and do the bell ringer because that is how I'm going to count you for attendance, especially if you're a virtual student. So if you're a virtual student or you're out of class sick and you need to do the work virtually or you're in COVID quarantine or anything like that, I'm out with uh, I'm out and you have a substitute, right? Attendance is going to be taken through those bell ringers. So um, and they're also worth one point a piece. So please um, keep up with those. OK, so first thing that you do is you do the daily bell ringer when you come in and it's it's super self-explanatory. Um, if you also have me for English 11, they're going to be exactly the same. So basically all you do is you got this, you got a word here that is going to be marked somehow. And you have to try to choose what the definition for the word is. So for this one, it's abated. And then you just have to choose what you think the definition is. The answer is totally not this one. Whatever you do, don't definitely select that one because that's the answer. Okay. All right. So back over to the first nine weeks folder. Here's the syllabus. And we're just going to go over this very briefly. Um, the most important thing that I need you to do as far as the syllabus is concerned is just read and understand that um, I'm going to be expecting you to turn in a long form written product on a regular basis. Um, so you need to come to school if you're in person prepared with a fully charged Chromebook and access to your Schoology account because that's where we're going to be hosting everything. All right, so the classroom rules and stuff, like I'm not super worried about you guys. Um, just basically all you have to know is just don't be behind my desk. So don't come in and sit behind my chair. I'm real picky about that. And uh, be in your seat when the tardy bell rings, of course. Um, and just be completing the bell ringer before class starts, before I formally start class. Okay. Um, the section on editing and peer revision. So this is this is a hard thing for a lot of people to understand um, when they first start out doing the kind of stuff that we're going to do in creative writing. Um, you are going to be responsible for editing one another's work. And we want the writing to be as good as it could possibly be. So we don't want to tell people that their writing is good when it's not. So we don't want to be overly critical and we want to be specific in our criticisms. We don't want to be like, your writing sucks and it's terrible, right? We don't want to do that. Um, but we do, we don't want to just read it and be like, that was really good. Thanks. And then turn our backs and, and just be like, that wasn't, that wasn't very good. So um, one of the things that you're going to be required to do is have those conversations with your peers and say, you know, well, I thought this about your writing and here's how I think you could improve it. So constructive criticism is what we're looking for. And we will work on those skills as the year goes on and you'll get more and more used to it. OK, um, my duty as the instructor is to help you write. OK, so. I am here to do that. So if you need me to come help you come up with ideas about what to write about, if you need my help with revisions, if you need my help with peer editing, or you know you have a character that you that you don't really know what to do with, or an idea that you don't know how to write, um, ask me. Okay. Now I will say that 
everything I suggest to you as your instructor is a suggestion, right? You don't have to take it. There might be a consequence if you don't. Um, you know, if I say, wow, you know, this, this character just doesn't really work, I don't think. And you disagree with me. Well, I want to hear your argument for why you disagree, because writing is art and art is kind of, you know, in the eye of the beholder. So if you have an idea and I don't like it, that doesn't mean you can't do it. That just means that you have to do it well, right? Because I'm going to be look. I'm going to be keeping an eye out. So um, the, the class is a little bit different from an English class in that it's, it's discussion oriented, right? So um, you have the right in, in this creative writing course to disagree with me about the best way to write a piece of writing. And if you make a really good case, um, that's, that's kind of the point of the class, right? Is for me to, to push against your ideas and for you to push back against my ideas. And in doing that, we both learn. Okay. So that's, that's the point of the class. So just know that going in that my word, uh, as far as my opinions on your writing is not like the end all be all, um, push back a little bit. I want you to do that. Grading, grading scale is the same as all the other classes. Um, the primary difference between this and a lot of the other courses that you're going to take, um, is the grades that I have aren't very frequent. You'll probably only have seven or eight grades every nine weeks. Um, I usually take up one writing assignment um, about every week and a half. Uh, so that means that if you miss one 50-point writing assignment or 100-point writing assignment, it can really, really impact your grade negatively. Um, so make sure that you get that stuff turned in um, by the due dates. All right, Schoology. I'm not going to belabor you guys with a whole bunch of Schoology stuff. You're probably getting it in all your other classes. So um, as far as the work presentation goes, here's what I really need from you guys. Okay. The very first thing that I need on your piece of writing is your name. Okay. Um, because what ends up happening is I have a, I have a stack full of stories, but no names on them. Okay, and then we're going to be selecting those stories um, to be put up on the website. And sometimes we're like, wow, I really like this story, but we have no idea whose it is. Okay, so just please put your names on your papers. All stories need to be in an acceptable, easy to read font. So none of the fancy cursive fonts or anything like that. Right, simple, Times New Roman, Arial, if you're not sure. Um, I had the student last year who used this like really cool typewriter font and it kind of became her signature. Um, and I was okay with that, right? Cause it was easy for me to read. Um, so just use your best judgment. If you want to, if you want to choose a fancy font for it to be your signature, I'm okay with that, but it needs to be easy for me to read and it needs to definitely, definitely not be comic sans. Um, just, just because I hate Comic Sans. <laughs> All right. Um, grammar always counts. And the rest of the stuff doesn't really apply to you guys. Um, classwork and homework, you guys can read that section. Um, due dates. Due dates here are pretty firm. So um, because, because we're going to be making an online magazine, right? So if nobody follows the due dates, then we have no magazine. So um, we're going to be sticking to the due dates pretty, pretty strictly this year. And I'm going to be assigning zeros for people who don't make the due dates. Now, that being said, if you come to me before the due date and you say, I really like this story, I'd like to make it longer and flesh it out more. Um, what do you think? Then I'm, I'm open to having that discussion, too. So if you had if if you, you're worried about making the due date and your work is like really big and complicated, then we can have that discussion. But don't come to me and say, I can't make the due date and then turn in a paper that's one page.
Okay, I want I want there to be evidence that you're doing something with the extra time that I'm giving you, and that it's going to be a really good story, um, because my goal is to get good stories out of you. So I'm I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get good stories. Um, so for the right MC contributions, that's going to be your primary objective in this class is to make um, to make articles for our website. Okay. And our website, I'm going to show it to you here in just a second, but it's super awesome for a variety of reasons. Um, under the syllabus, there's two more things that I need you to do here. So the first is the introduce yourself section. So if you click that, it's going to bring you into a video tutorial where I'm talking more and you're going to have this assignment here. So watch these directions, open that assignment as the next thing that you do. And then tonight, when you go home, um, you need to do this parent info sheet. And basically what this is, is it's gonna be your permission slip to post things on the website, okay? So you're just gonna type, type your parent's name, um, here and here and that's just going to give that's just going to say that we have permission to use your image like a picture of you and your writing uh, on the website um, for the school year okay so before you do anything else this evening i need you to get that signed so that we can start getting to work because i can't publish your work without it okay all right, now the good stuff. So drum roll. This is the website that we're going to be uh, working uh, in this year. So I've already created a section for you guys to publish your writing. And you can see that it is dreadfully blank. So we're going to try to get that underway um, right away. And then we have the authors section. So we're going to be working on this. This is last year's class. So got, you know, Alyssa Wagner, Brandy Capps, John Stoll, Savannah Fox, right? So we got, we have all these people and they have little bios here. So um, we're going to need you guys to do that. And I'm going to make an assignment for that and we'll, we'll hit that up next week. Okay. But that's just realize that's going to be coming down the pipe at you. And, you know, we got people here, they're, they're pimping their YouTube channels their Twitter, their Snapchats, their Instagrams, and I'm okay with that. The website um, does a lot more traffic than you might think. Um, so, and here's our archives page. So if you want to read anything from the past couple of years, so that you know what kind of, um, you know, what kind of articles and stories and things we're going to be writing, uh, that's, that's where that is. Um, so let's, this is what I think is the neatest part. So the website, we have the ability to see where people are reading from. Okay, so if we go over the years, right? So 2019 was, we don't, we don't want this page. We want the whole thing. So, all right, so this is across the whole website here. And we can see um, the different stats. So you can see that 2019 and 2020 were our biggest years ever. Um, and so you guys, you guys have to beat that. So in 2019, we did 5,000 views. And we had 1,600 unique visitors. And in 2020, we did, we've already done 3,400 and we've had 1,200 unique visitors. Okay. So, and you can, you can see who was the most read. So Haley Hoffman was our most read author by, by quite a lot. Um, and then Josephine Mundorf uh, was our second most read. But the really cool thing about this is you guys can see just how big the scope of 
our little writing project is here for Little Berkeley Springs. Okay, so we, we've you know we've had thousands of people from all over the country in the world read our little stories here that come out of Berkeley Springs. So if we look at all time here for our stats, and you guys, I'm going to give you access to this eventually, um, and we'll give you updates and stuff about, you know, how good our traffic is doing. Um, so for this, we've had, just look at the list, right? United States, India, Canada, China, the UK, Australia, Brazil, France, New Zealand, Germany, Finland, and the list goes on, Okay. Um, so that's, that's kind of what we're going to be doing here. And there's also, there's also some competition elements of it. So if you are the most read person, um, in class for a month, okay, then I'm going to bring you breakfast from Chick-fil-A. So I drive right past Chick-fil-A every morning. I'll bring you breakfast from Chick-fil-A. Um, if you're the most read author every month. And I'm still trying to figure out a way to do this, but last year I did um, pizza parties. So if you beat your stats for um, a month over a month, so let's say you know one month we do 200 and then the next month you do 201, unique visitors, then I'm going to have some kind of reward for the class. I don't know what that's going to be yet because I don't think I'd be allowed to serve pizza because coronavirus and stuff um but we're gonna come up with something i don't know what it'll be yet it might be a movie day or i don't know i don't know i don't know what we could do um maybe bring in some kind of like pre-wrapped food that we can we can separate out but anyhow some kind of reward there so um once we start writing it's going to be up to you guys to make sure that the website um prospers. And uh, we have a lot of work to do. I'm not going to pretend that we don't. Um, some of you will be given access to post on the website. Some of you will be made editors. So your work, the, the work of all the people in the class will be submitted to you and it'll be your responsibility to pick out who is and is not published. Um, but all that stuff's coming down the pipe. So again, very first thing that you need to do is that syllabus contact sheet. The second thing that you need to do is the introduce yourself slideshow. And um, that's just so I can get to know you. And then um, we'll talk about what comes next after, after those things are done. And that'll probably be next week. So, all right, guys. I'm so glad to have you in my creative writing class. And um, I look forward to reading about you in the introduce yourself slides, please, please, please get that permission slip filled out by your parents so that we can get to work publishing stuff on the website. All right, guys, talk to you soon.